module 1 lecture 5 in this session we'll be dealing about the circuit diagrams and its design capacitor coupled non inverting amplifier so here we already learned about non inverting amplifier so for a non inverting amplifier we'll be taking the capacitor coupled at the input as well as at the output so observe the circuit diagram carefully an ideal op amp with resistor R1, feedback resistor R2 and a resistor R3. That will be acting as your input resistance of inverting terminal. Now, if you could observe, that part is completely your non-inverting amplifier. For that, we'll be applying the capacitors. So, at the input, the non-inverting terminal, you can observe... C1 is connected with our input voltage Vi and across the output C2 has been connected along with resistor RL at the output. RL will be your load resistor. Now the design part of capacitor coupled non-inverting amplifier. So the, these design part formulas will be helpful in solving the problems. You can note down. So first one, R1 will be equal to 0.1 times of VBE by IB. So these values are available in the specifications. So VBE will be your applied voltage and IB will be 500 nano amps. Now number two, C1 is equal to 1 by 2 pi FZ. So your Z will be R1 by 10. By substituting that you get your C1 will be equal to 1 by 2 pi f into R1 by 10. Now to find C2, the formula will be 1 by 2 pi f into RL. Next, number 4, to find your R3. So R3 will be acting as your input resistor at inverting terminal. Therefore, your formula will be R3 is equal to VI by I2. So, your I2 from the specifications we get 100 times of IB. That will be equal to 50 micro amperes. Now, to find the output voltage, your formula will be V0 is equal to I2 into R2 plus R3. Now, the last one, R2 to find R2 resistors, the formula will be R2 will be equal to V0 by I2 into minus I3. So this has been derived from the above formula you can see. Now capacitor coupled inverting amplifier. So previously we saw non-inverting amplifier design. Now the inverting amplifier. You can observe the circuit diagram. This uh, inverting amplifier along with capacitor connected C1 connected at Inverting terminal of the op amp along with the input voltage applied to the inverting terminal. Your non-inverting terminal will be grounded. Now at the output C2 is connected along with the resistor RL. Your output will be calculated at the load resistor RL. Now coming to the design part of capacitor coupled inverting amplifier. So to calculate your resistor R1, the formula will be R1 is equal to V1 by I1. So, it's not V1, it's VI by I1. So, VI is your input voltage, whereas I1, it is same as I2. So, that I1 will be equal to 50 microamperes. Now, to calculate R2, your formula will be R2 is equal to V0 by I1. Now, C1 will be equal to 1 by 2 pi f into R1 by 10. Now C2, to calculate your capacitance C2, the formula will be C2 is equal to 1 by 2 pi f into RL. Now coming to the capacitor coupled difference amplifier. So here also in the same way, along with the difference amplifier, capacitors will be connected. So you can see the circuit diagram for the difference amplifier 
at the inverting terminal C1 is connected along with the applied voltage V1. Whereas at non-inverting input terminal C2 is connected along with the input voltage V2. Now at the output C3 is connected along with the load resistor RL. Now coming to the design part. To calculate your C1 will be the formula will be C1 is equal to 1 by 2 pi f into R1 by 10. Now to calculate your C2, the formula will be C2 is equal to 1 by 2 pi f into R3 plus R4 by 10. Now to calculate C3, your formula will be C3 is equal to 1 by 2 pi f into RL. So that's all about the design and circuit diagrams you can note down all the formulas uh, from the next video we'll be solving problems it will be useful in that